Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video of Boschman Tactics. Today I got my CIL model 607H 12 gauge pump action shotgun. So the snow is deep, the sun is hot. Welcome to Canada folks, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you after the intro. So welcome back to Gun Library Part 2, where we are going to be exploring the history and the specifications of my CIL Model 607H 12 gauge pump action shotgun. So this model I believe is synonymous to the Savage Model 67 pump action shotgun and it was rather imported by CIL and sold by their distributors, but I'll go over that a little bit later. So what I could find about this gun when I did research rather on the Savage Model 67 was that they produced them right after the cessation of World War II, so 1945, and I believe they stopped making them by 1988 when Savage Firearms filed for bankruptcy. I believe this gun specifically, my own, was produced somewhere in the late 60s to early 70s based off of the serial code. So the stamping on this rifle, as you can see, is labeled CIL. That stood for Canadian Industries Limited, which was a commercial Canadian brand that historically manufactured explosives and munitions dating back to 1862. The company later merged with six other companies, most notably being the Dominion Cartridge Company, with, which specialized in manufacturing munitions, specifically rifle ammunition. Dominion's production rate obviously skyrocketed with the onset of World War II and they were contracted by the Canadian government to produce military ammunition, opening many additional factories to increase production, including in Montreal, Quebec, where this gun specifically was distributed from. Following CIL's peak production in the year 1943, Dominion's munitions factory gradually decreased its production over the next few years and finally led to a full drop of all munitions production in 1976. The specifications of this 12 gauge shotgun, I believe it's equipped with a 28 inch barrel and I believe a fixed choke. I'm not 100% sure, but I just shoot lead out of this shotgun regardless, so I don't really need to worry about that. Um, it has, obviously, it's a pump action shotgun. It holds four plus one, two and three quarter inch shot shells, and then I believe three plus one, three inch shot shells. Yeah guys, all in all, it's just a farm gun. It's rough, it's durable, it gets the job done, and can't ask much more for a cheap budget pump action shotgun. One thing I'd like to note is this back buttstock has some of the worst fitting that I've ever seen on a gun. It's a little ugly, but uh, I haven't, I'm the one to blame because I haven't taken it apart to see if I could fix it yet. But other than that, it has nice checkering and honestly, this front foregrip, the rounded foregrip is something I was specifically looking for when I was in the 12 gauge market. It just feels great in the hand and I just think it just looks amazing and it really completes that kind of vintage shotgun look. Okay, so as far as the story goes, I don't really have much story or meaningful backstory to this gun. I basically went to my local gun store, Rat River Outdoors, shout out to you guys, and I saw this sucker on the consignment rifle rack, and for the price tag, I just couldn't say no. So I pulled the trigger and picked it up, and the rest is history. All right, guys, so without further ado, it's Boschman Tactics. We gotta take some shots. I'm gonna rip up a couple skeets, See what this puppy can do in action, and I hope you enjoy the sounds and roars of a 12 gauge shotgun. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you at the range. Alrighty, folks, so we got four skeets down range. We got four plus one capacity. So uh, let's fire some shot shells, boys. Let's let her rip. Woo. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me for another video at Boschman Tactics. I hope you enjoyed this one. As you can tell, it is a wickedly fun gun to shoot. 
pump action shotguns, there's just something about those 12 gauges in your hands. It just makes you feel alive. So again, if you guys have any cool gun stories, I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. So please share. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe sauce it a like, hit the subscribe button for more videos to come. And uh, yeah, it's always a great day to have a great day. It's springtime here in Canada. Finally, it feels like we've had winter forever, but things are looking up guys. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and uh, thanks for watching guys. Peace out.